as well. We have more rain in the forecast heading into tomorrow. So with that, we are issuing still a weather impact alert day. This is going to be during mainly the daytime hours starting tomorrow morning and lasting through the early evening hours. This is for scattered showers and some downpours. A couple of these thunderstorms could drop some pretty heavy rain, so make sure on your way out the door you've got your rain gear in the morning and that you drive safely on the roads. Here's a look at the state right now. Thankfully, today marks day three of no heat advisories in the coastal bend, but you'll notice this swirl of clouds and rain. It's not tropical. It's an upper level low. That is what's going to bring a lot of energy across the coastal bend and combine with a lot of moisture to give us those rain chances we're talking about. So again, here's what it's looking like right now. A thunderstorm up towards Beeville and Mathis and George West. That's where most of our rain has been going for this afternoon. Here's what future cast is painting a picture of. We're staying pretty cloudy overnight. You can see kind of that swirl again, not tropical. It's that upper level low, but that comes into the coastal Ben by lunchtime. We've already got scattered showers, a couple thunderstorms. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon with the clouds and rain are going to thankfully stay a little cooler than we were today in the lower 90s. So we've got those highest rain chances through the middle part of the day. We'll break those down here in just a second. And then we have more rain chances heading into Tuesday. A touch warmer though because the rain chances are just a bit lower. So here's a breakdown of those rain chances for tomorrow. Again, heading into about the 10 o'clock hour. That's when we start to see more of the scattered activity as it pushes further inland, starts at the coast and moves inland throughout the day. So that's when we're going to start to see the highest coverage is by the middle of the afternoon, right around pickup time for school or when you're heading out from work. Over the next several days and through the rest of this coming work week, we are going to continue to see daily rain chances scattered at that. The lowest ones looking like Friday and this coming Sunday. So hopefully for our first week of uh, football, high school football, I should say. Hopefully we can keep the rain out of the forecast for you. But again, Monday, I think tomorrow is going to be the highest rain chances we have. So with that, a week of rain hit and miss showers throughout the week. I think this is what we could be looking at in terms of rainfall with the heaviest totals off to our uh, northeast. Thanks to tomorrow's rain event, kind of focusing the rain along the coast and up to our northeast. But I do think most folks over the rest of this coming week are going to get in on some rainfall. Quick check on the tropics. A little housekeeping here. No new activity is expected. And speaking of picking up the kids from school tomorrow, here's a check of that school day forecast. Make sure you're sending the kids off to school with an umbrella. So we've got the highest rain chances of the week tomorrow, as well as the coolest temperatures likely. And one thing to note, just based on where the rainfall falls over the next few days, that's really going to influence what your high temperature is looking like in your area. It sure is nice not to hear about the tropics. Sometimes, yeah, it is. It? it is. We are heading towards the peak of hurricane season September 10th, but for now, nap time. All right, great. Thank you.